On May 22, 2022, Elon Musk unveiled Tesla's new insane engine. That appears to be perfect and outperforms the company's previous engines. In addition, he said that Tesla has a lot planned for 2022. The company has already developed a number of strategies to keep them in the lead, and it looks that they have plans to improve it. Things are about to get even crazier, thanks to Elon Musk's recent development. So, let's begin with the video. But first, we are giving away $100 to one of our lucky subscribers. All you have to do is watch the entire video, leave a comment with your greatest takeaway, like, share, and subscribe. So, without further ado, let's get started. A Hyperscale Design Engine Elon Musk has revealed Tesla's upcoming electric motor, a carbon-wrapped motor with higher RPM variants coming to the new Roadster. The plate motor was developed internally by Tesla as part of the engine update that was revealed in October 2021. The new plate electric motor, according to the company, will enable a significant reduction in powertrain complexity while enhancing performance. Musk continued by saying that the new motor is so excellent that Tesla could completely replace its present lineup with automobiles with cutting-edge electric motors. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, said the new motor was literally indestructible at a press conference last year. We now know more about the operation of this powerful motor and how it varies from other products on the market from his statement that he planned to establish a world record with it. Musk started by talking about Tesla's most current mortar design, also known as the plate motor, which, as he stated recently in a tweet, the new mortar design is not based on traditional automotive concepts but rather the technology that drives a Dyson vacuum cleaner. According to Musk, the new motor will be lighter, more cost-effective, and more compact than Tesla's current electric motors made of aluminum. Musk wants to develop a hyper scalable plate motor that can be used in any vehicle. The second generation of Tesla's Model E car, which could start production as early as 2022, may use the plate motor, according to Musk. However, Tesla must first complete work on its third vehicle. Musk made a suggestion about the availability of new, high-capacity batteries for the Model S and the upcoming Model X during an investor conference call in February. During the moment, we were expected to learn more about these next-generation battery packs during last week's presentations of the Model S. Musk, on the other hand, avoided going into detail about Tesla's new battery cells during his speech at the delivery ceremony last week. We'll make an announcement next year, he said. Instead, he focused on a brand new, very advanced air suspension system developed by Holden, a revolutionary Swedish car parts supplier that is now a Tesla partner. When clients buy their model, they will be able to race or lower the vehicle by 40 millimeters reliably, according to the company. With the debut of the Model S P100D versions, Elon Musk did not disappoint. In contrast to the Model S facelift, Musk revealed a whole new battery pack design for the updated electric car. Tesla's 100 kWh battery pack is a whole new technology that will ultimately find its way into other automobiles. When it comes to Tesla's future, the focus is almost always on the next generation of vehicles. However, the company is also planning forward in terms of billing. Tesla's groundbreaking new technology. Tesla's CEO, Elon Musk, shared his excitement about the new charger in a tweet earlier this week. However, there wasn't much in the way of specifics. Thanks to Musk's interview on one YouTube channel we now have a little more information. The video was taken before to the Model 3 debut, however it was just recently released. The new charger, according to Musk, will be more powerful than Tesla's current alternatives. It will also be a lot smaller and less costly, making it more practical for customers to charge at home. It will be powered by electronics and housed in a hard shell with liquid cooling. Tesla already has some portable chargers, but they are quite large and expensive. The interview didn't go into much detail regarding the new technology, but Musk did mention that the new battery pack would charge at around 100 kilowatts per hour, which means long-distance journeys can be charged almost anywhere. In terms of the motor, Tesla is always introducing groundbreaking new technology, and Tesla's new plate will take those developments to an entirely new level. You can always rely on them to give you with high-quality autos and components since they are one of the most trusted worthy companies in the world. When used on a standard model, new license plates provide greater power and less weight than any other motor on the market. Although Musk did not explain how it functioned, he did claim it was built by robots capable of assembling 2 million pieces each hour. He also claimed that his cat's hairball inspired the carbon fiber weaving design, and that it would revolutionize the auto industry. Although Tesla has yet to provide official price for the new motor, he has said that it would be far less costly than previous Tesla motors. He also said that everybody who purchased a Tesla after July 1st would get one as a free replacement for their existing
existing motor. The most important takeaway from our later sweet thread is that Tesla's new motor design will be able to generate unprecedented power and efficiency by using a plate design that allows Tesla to place each of the individual company components as close together as possible, decreasing the overall size of the mortar without losing quality totaling all of the components as we can see. Tesla can obtain a promoter efficiency of 120 while lowering volume by 40 to 50 percent. This is a major increase over the current industry standard, and it has the potential to have significant implications for electric cars, especially in terms of battery capacity. As with all Musk tweets, it's important to take these statements with a grain of salt, but given what Tesla has done with its existing motors, there's no reason to doubt that Blade will perform just as well when it releases this year. The Most Important Inventions Ever We've been talking about the upcoming Tesla Model 3 for a while now, but one issue has been keeping the vehicle from rolling off the assembly line. It's powertrain. Elon Musk mentioned it during the show, demonstrating that this new motor is only feasible because of the new machine that Tesla created to make it near the end of the year. His presentations must have revealed that Tesla built a new machine to manufacture these motors. He added that it is a really complex process in and of itself, and that we had this machine custom built. He also mentioned that he would provide more information about these devices to other companies interested in building electric motors in the future. He is certain that these missions will make it simpler and less costly for other companies to build electric motors. The electric motor is regarded as one of the most important inventions ever invented by humans. It is highly commendable that we have been futuristic about the way our inventions are not only meant to suit our present needs. The stator and rotor are the first important components to consider. The rotor is simply a collection of short-circuited conducting bars joined by end rings. A three-phase AC power supply is added to the stator. The three-phase AC and the coils produce a magnetic field. Tesla's motors generate a four-pole magnetic field. The revolving magnetic field induces a current that turns the rotor bars into an induction motor. The rotor speed, or RMF speed, always lags behind the stator speed. An induction motor is pretty powerful despite the lack of brushes and a permanent magnet. Induction motors are unusual in that the frequency of the AC power source determines their rotational speed. This implies that the power supply frequency could be altered to modify the wheel's rotational speed. Tesla speed control is so straightforward and dependable. Revolutionary industry enhancements Tesla motors can spin at rates ranging from 0 to 18,000 revolutions per minute. The battery pack power powers the induction motor, because the power supply is DC. It must be converted to AC before it can reach the motor. In this case, the inverter comes into action. The inversion converts DC to alternating current and modifies the frequency of the alternating current power, enabling the motor speed to be controlled by varying the amplitude of the alternating current motor. The inverter may even modify the motor's output power. It is also the electric vehicle's brain. Most people are astonished to find that the battery packs are large collections of regular lithium-ion battery cells similar to those found in daily life. Life. To generate the energy required to power the electric automobile, all of these cells are linked in series and parallel. One of the technologies that distinguishes Tesla from other electric vehicle manufacturers is the circulation of glycol coolant between cells through metallic inner tubes. To provide critical cooling, several tiny cells are used instead of a few large ones. Thermal hotspots are avoided as a result, resulting in uniform temperature distribution across cells and extended battery pack life. These cells are grouped into removable modules, with a total of around 7,000 cells in 16 modules. Until the Roadster comes, the Tesla Model S Plaid is the finest example of Tesla's professional expertise. Teslas have always been quick, and the company, lead by its top geek, looks to be capable of pushing inside joke limits as well as game-changing industry advancements. It ultimately succeeds in raising Tesla's performance to ridiculously high levels. It's the first Tesla with three electric motors, two in the back and one in the front, all of which are now permanent magnet-synchronous PC machines with carbon fiber sleeved rotors. The whirling parts of the engine and the plaid are brand new. A carbon fiber cover connects all of the rotors, enabling rotational speeds of up to 20,000 RPM p.m which is more than 25% faster than before. Because of the different coefficients of thermal expansion of carbon and copper, Tesla claims that the copper wire in the motor must be coiled at extremely high tension in order to produce an efficient electromagnetic field. Furthermore, the Plaid eliminates an EV weakness, particularly in vehicles with direct drive gearboxes like Tesla, where power decreases significantly as speed increases. The Plaid keeps 1,000 of its 1020 horsepower until it reaches its peak speed of 200 miles per hour, according to Tesla. Despite having more power. The Plaid was 175 pounds lighter than the Model S performance variant. The Model S Plaid runs the quarter mile in 9.25 seconds at 152.6 miles per hour, 
according to Motor Trend. After the terrifyingly violent launch, the run from 0 to 60 miles per hour takes only 1.98 seconds. The plaid moves so fast that it's difficult to keep up with what's going on. The yoke feels light in your hands, your neck muscles ache as your helmeted head burrows into the headrest, and your surroundings blur into simple shapes and colors as a quarter mile of tarmac evaporates beneath you. This is an awesome accomplishment, but the vehicle cannot now reach and maintain 200 miles per hour because the drivetrain would be damaged. Tesla wants to enhance the Roadster's maximum speed limits. We hadn't heard anything about the new Tesla Roadster in over a year and assumed it had been postponed once again. Due to chip shortages, the firm has had a bad year, and the Cybertruck, which was a priority, has also been delayed. When questioned about the Roadster in September 2021, Musk said it had been postponed until 2023. Furthermore, the CEO stated that the arrival is contingent on how much drama Tesla encounters in 2022. So far, there hasn't been any drama. We'd love to hear what you think about a carbon-wrapped motor in the comments. And thanks for watching the video. If you want to continue to learn about everything regarding Tesla or electric vehicles, we've got two more video options for you on the screen to check out. And don't forget to give a thumbs up on this video if you liked it and subscribe to our Electric World channel for daily content just like this.